Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a Solar Titan build showcase. Path of the Burning Steps, as well as Mountaintop with Recomb is great. Auto loading could be replaced with Impulse. We have an Incandescent Sidearm. I would, however, like to say Luna's Howl just released today, and I have not yet earned a Heal Clip Magnificent Howl roll. But uh, the season sidearms are pretty decent, so I figured why not take the Perpetual Motion Incandescent? It works wonders either way. But that is one thing you could swap. Dragon's Breath is an insanely good rocket. Use it, brothers and sisters. Piercing sidearms for this. All right, we have Kindling Trigger, Blast Radius, Razor Precision, Revitalizing Blast to weaken targets with solar abilities, or champions, rather. Overload Rockets. Just read it. You got it, boys and girls. Solar is the subclass of choice. We're using Burning Maul. However, you could use Hammer of Soul. It's just preference. We're choosing Rally Barricade for short cooldown timer. Hammer because we are using Roaring Flames. Increase damage on the hammer as well as Fusion Nades. Fusion Nades do a pretty significant amount of damage, but you could trade it for Solar Grenade. It just also takes a longer time to come off cooldown. Soul Invictus creates Sunspot standing in them. Scorch targets as well as regen your abilities a lot faster. All right, Ember of Searing. Ember of Blistering, Ember of Ashes, Ember of Char, lots of Scorch, lots of Ignitions. All right, and then we'll hop on over to Armor Mods, Dynamos, Harmonic Siphon, Heavy Finder. On Arms, we have Firepower, Fastball, Impact Induction. Okay, we have Resiliences on, or Resistances rather, on the chest piece. Solar Weapon Surge only. I know you guys are like, why are you using a Weapon Surge when you already have times four from the Firewalker perk? When you get pick up orbs and you have armor charges, you should have three. All right. You can swap in between your solar secondary of whatever choice and as well as your dragon's breath, resetting the timer as long as you have armor charges. So you can keep the firewalker going, the damage boost even longer if you have that on. Without it, you cannot do such a weird little bug. I don't know what it is. Maybe they'll fix it. Hopefully not. Harmonic scavs for the rocket launcher ammo bomber time dilation and bomber but here are all the mods there it is boys and girls let's just hop into the gameplay and show you what this build is about this build is great for onslaught however it only gets better with other support classes because the only heal without a heal clip weapon is it's coming from the uh the, the those the sunspots there we go okay we can just fire and forget a rocket into him let's see how much damage this pupper does and it finishes him off yes he's weakened because you know all the uh, artifact mods whatnots but recomp on the mountaintop is incredible especially with this build seeing as how you are just clearing stuff left and right we are able to also with this build this season anyways cover every single champion mod because of ignitions on scorching or igniting targets rather it, it hits the unstoppable you have the overload rockets you also have anti-barrier sidearms this season fire a rocket that guy will be dead in no time maybe not unfortunate somehow I think he was weaker than anticipated there See if that guy dodges that. He did not. He should be dead. Oh, and I whiffed that. The mountaintop is surprisingly damaging this season. It might get nerfed. Who knows? But if you look down in the bottom left, you see armor charges, and then you have the solar weapon boost times four. If you swap times ten, or it goes back up to ten swap it goes back up to 10 so you technically have an extended timer on that solar weapon boost so make sure you're swapping back and forth if you're in a, like a downtime which happens a lot in uh onslaught so that'll be very very useful for that mode however you might need i mean as long as you're creating sunspots and standing in them you'll you know you should be okay but uh the well locks will definitely help so all you well locks out there, you you keep doing you, all right? While I have my fun on my Titan, 
you keep doing you. Go ahead and cast your super. Why the heck not? I don't know if Burning Maul is any good. It seems okay. Yeah, it seems slightly okay. Uh, fire another rocket. I mean, it, the, the, the game's pretty easy on this build. I find it quite interesting. Lots of synergy, lots of damage boost. You got Roaring Flames for your ability damage buff. So, I mean, you're pretty much DPS king on this class, as is. But with this build, it's even better. Switch to the recom. I mean, it's at times 10. Got the weapon boost. Swap back and forth between your weapons to reset the timer. It's insane. Hammer of Souls could work because you generate more sunspots for survivability. Uh, the Rally Barricades for, you know, bombers down here on your class ability to regen your grenades fast. It's just there's synergy galore. Play around with the build. Let me know what you'd keep, what you'd change. And with that being said, boys and girls, it's been some guy Gary. I love you all. I hope to see you in the next video. Make sure you drop the comments, the likes, the subscribes, and I will see you later. Goodbye now.